Okay, you have an appointment. Yay, it's game time, bitch. Okay, a few house rules. You never discuss your exact commission or the price of the house until you've discussed your full marketing plan and have confidence that you'll be hired. I'll give you an example. Anna, we were doing the walkthrough. Your lady asked, one of the questions she's had is, so tell me what you think you would do to the house in terms of repairs. I'll go over all that in detail when, we, when we're discussing it at the kitchen table. Right now, I'm just getting a walkthrough of your home. They'll ask, oh, so as you're touring the house, so what do you guys charge? We're gonna cover all that in detail. Don't worry, you're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through everything in detail. Right now, let me just get a tour of the house and understand your property. So what do you think you could sell it for? We're gonna cover that in detail. I brought plenty of data. Right now, I'm just... It's for less. Chill, man. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a time and place. That, like, we'll, we'll get there, okay? Chill out. And if they, no, but, but, but what's your commission? Our commission ranges anywhere from one to 6%. Depends, depending on what your house needs. That, I've sold houses where I get no commission. A consumer has very limited knowledge. They're gonna be focused on the limited knowledge that they know. Commission, price, relax, we'll get there. And if you have to give answers to these things, price, they're really pressing you for price, or they're really pressing you for commission, you get very broad ranges. I don't know, I'll say anywhere one, two to one, five. We'll cover it in detail when we sit down. What about commission? Oh, commission could be as, as low as zero to 6%. We'll cover that in detail. Don't use the word but, replace it with and. I think your kitchen is amazing, and I would love to give you some suggestions as to how to maximize. Don't call the house a home. A home is personal, a house is an object, it's a thing. Understand the vision of where they're trying to go or why they're trying to sell. This will leverage your point later. What that means is start to understand the vision. Why are you there in a seller's console? Are they trying to move somewhere? Do they need money? Are they trying to buy? Another? You should have at least an idea, a broad idea of what they're trying to accomplish. Okay, now here's the appointment. Appointment, walkthrough, report. So show up 10 minutes early, get there, get 10 minutes early, drive around the neighborhood, see what's going on. I look outside the house and said, that's my fucking listing. My son's gonna be up front. Like, you guys think that attitude and energy matters or no? You're out of your mind if you think it doesn't. It's everything. Dress professionally, but not trying too hard. I lost a listing consult with Zach once years ago because I wore a damn Rolex. It was out in fucking suit and tie and a Rolex out in wherever the fuck we were. Buckley, bro. <laughs> Never take me there again. <laughs> Understand the consumer. Look, like you got an appointment with the person, you're gonna be going into their house. Look them up. I wanna know who the hell they are, what's their style, are they nerdy? What, what, what can I relate to this person on? I got clients that are data scientists. One guy looks like Einstein and the lady, they're just nerdy and weird. Super nice. They're Persian. I love Persian food. We're, we're to, yeah, all of our conversations like similarities in our culture, like the food, the first job I had here in Washington State was like two, two guys that were like mentors to me. They were like fathers to me when I was 19. There were two Persian guys. So it's like, that's what we bonded on. That's what we connected on. What can you connect with the consumer on? So know that in advance. If your media consumer that's a $300,000 price point and you show up in a three-piece suit, might be a lot. This is what I mean by understand the consumer, who they are and their demographic and age group and adapt accordingly. I'm not asking you to not be yourself. I'm asking you to be considerate of what the other person's reality is and try to make it easier for you to be accepted by them. So you show up, knock on the door. Hey, thank you for having me. Shoes off, always offer. That's, that, should I take my shoes off? Eye contact, hey, how's it going? I'm Lucas, nice to meet you. I always try to make myself smaller, more approachable. What if I roll in? <laughs> like, no, dude, not the right attitude. You're in someone's house. 
right? Hey, thank you so much for having me over. I'm Lucas, nice to meet you. Really appreciate you taking the time today. Should I take my shoes off? Love for you to give me a tour of the home. And if you could highlight any upgrades along with anything that you're thinking of tackling in, in terms of repairs. And during this process, uh, I'm gonna take some notes if that's okay with you. It's always if that's okay with you, because it makes what? It makes you softer and it makes it seem like the consumer is in control, which they are, because if they don't choose you, you don't get paid. So um, during this process, I'm gonna take some notes, ask some questions and take pictures. These pictures are not gonna be seen anywhere. It's just for, so me and my team can refer back to it later. That's the script and the script. And then you say here, and overall, you just, you wanna be conscious that you're engaged and you showcase that you care. I come to the team meeting sometimes and I'm like, this person just woke up an hour ago. This person's somewhere else. I can see it by your eyes. When someone's engaged, they're looking at you, they're asking questions. Oh, nice, okay, got it. Oh, perfect, hey, I'm gonna take some notes, but you're, you're present, you're engaged, you're connected. There's a certain energy involved with that. If you're terrified, it's gonna be much harder for you to be I used to go in seller appointments, my armpits used to, like, it used to be wet because I was so nervous. Mm -hmm. And eventually that went away. When you're cool, calm and collected and you know what you're doing there and you know what you're trying to do, you're gonna be calmer. The consumer is gonna feel that energy off of you and feel more at ease. During the walkthrough, you're taking pictures and this is the time to build rapport. You're asking questions, you're getting a better understanding of their motivation, along with any other key factors. I don't even know what the consumer wants or needs. I don't know how to help them yet. I don't know. So we're still in the discovery phase. Everything that we've done so far is discovery phase. I can't offer you a solution because I don't know, I don't have full insight as to what you actually need, what your, pro what your true problem is. Otherwise, I'm just trying to sell something. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm single and uh, I'm trying to get a girlfriend. Yeah, buy the minivan, dude. That's a bad salesperson, is it not? <laughs> it's like, no, get the convertible, go, you know? So discovery process is for you to understand the consumer so you can best service them. And the reason why we always push it to the kitchen table is because that's where decisions are made. I've never had a contract sign standing up. I've always had my contract sign sitting down in the kitchen table where I have their full undivided attention, okay? <laughs> Bonus, have an understanding of which part you're going to try to push the consumer to based off their answering the condition of the home. This is where it really starts to get tricky. A consumer, sometimes the best solution is not for them to list. Sometimes the best solution is for them to take an off-market offer. Sometimes the best solution is for them to do a compass concierge, rehab the property, and then go on market. Sometimes the best solution is for a person to rent. I've told plenty of clients before, hey, if I were you, I'd rent this out and revisit six, 12 months down the road. Why? Because it's the right thing for the client. And if you do the right thing for people, you have a client for life. That client will be like, no, that person's a real one. They're not just trying to sell me something. So have an understanding of which path you're going to try to push the consumer to based off their answers and the condition of the home. Example, I'm walking through a house, sewers backed up, shits everywhere. I can barely walk through because she's a hoarder. Yeah, Compass Concierge is great. For no. <laughs> Wrong answer. Like the off market is the right answer, right? Hey, listen, we have a great program where you don't pay any real estate fees. You can move in your own time. We can make this process super easy for you. It's a cash offer. We could close in your own timeline, right? Now, same scenario, walking through a house, $3 million, everything is immaculate. And you, hey, we have this off market program or I'll get you an offer. You don't pay. No, wrong answer. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the wrong solution for that consumer. You're the professional. You're the one that needs to know the right solution for the consumer. I'll give you an example how when this is done incorrectly, consumers get frustrated or confused. Frustrated or confused consumers never buy. 
they postpone making a decision. You guys wanna hear a real life example that happened to me? I'ma go to Best Buy and I'ma get a new computer. I walk in, there's the geeks, that's what they call themselves, nerds. Anyway, <laughs> go there and I say, hey, I used my laptop for this and for work and I was told that maybe I shouldn't go with it, I should try, there are better options aside from Apple, the Apple is just kind of overpriced and overkill. What laptop would you recommend? Gave the guy my problem. And the guy goes, yeah, so we have a great, uh, this one is over here, it's got 10 gigabytes, and, a little bit, and we got this one as well, different product, but a little bit higher private, it's got this, this as well, we got this one as well. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I don't, what? I don't know, I don't even know what the words you said meant. Like, I don't know what any of that means. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. You just pointed out five different laptops. I don't know what's what and what's gonna solve my problem. So I fucking left, didn't buy a laptop. Walk into Apple, go into Apple, highlight the same thing. The guys, this is the laptop you need to solve your problems. Ah, here we go. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> done, my problem is solved. You know, so it's like, first guy left me, he thought he was helping. He was highlighting bells and whistles to a person that had no idea of anything. I just wanted a problem solved. So I, I, the first guy left me more confused and frustrated. The second guy gave me a clear path to my solution. Second guy got the business and I bought the overpriced laptop. Okay, we're gonna dive in to discovery tomorrow. Yeah. Any questions on that? No. Cool, okay, cool. <laughs>